presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use Companion to change props and looks and all kinds of stuff that you normally couldn't uh, change if you did use Companion with Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. Before we get started, if you are really excited about the possibility of using a stream deck and companion to change looks and do other things, go ahead and hit that like button and leave me a comment below. One of the great things about uh, ProPresenter is that there's so much third-party support. So Renewed Vision didn't write the companion module someone who's a user that's a programmer did, but they're perfectly okay with uh, it being done as evidenced by the fact that they haven't stopped them from doing it. So there are limitations though, and this is, comes from the fact that all the commands are kind of figured out by watching the ProPresenter remote app over the network and seeing what it does. So I thought that we would take a look at um, exactly what you could do with Companion and uh, go from there. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So one thing you should know is if we were to go into Chrome here, you see that I've already got BitFocus Companion up. I've got the UI ready to go. This is actually the, the page that I use when I'm doing these tutorials. So, you know, I can uh, cut between sources. I can toggle off and on. I'm going to um, hit this button right here, and that makes me go away. You know, things like that. So... It's pretty powerful, but one thing that it can't do, if we uh, go to a blank page here, is change looks. So if I uh, say this is a regular button, okay, and let's say I go to look to. I don't like how big that is, so I'm going to change it to 14 here. Okay, press on action. So I click down here, and I look for the instance. The uh, connection is what they're now called in ProPresenter 7, or um, in the latest beta of Companion, which you need if you're using ProPresenter 7.4. Um, 7.4.2 or newer, rather. So, okay, so notice here, I had a lot of things that I've added in here. So we have next slide, previous slide, specific slide. Keep that one in mind. We're going to come back to it here in a second. Clear all, clear slide, clear props, uh, clear audio, clear background. Uh, clear Telestrator, although we don't have Telestrator in Pro 7, but that's just left over. Um, clear to logo, clear announcements, clear messages. Notice we have different stage display layouts that we can go between. We can uh, change stage display messages. We can do start clock, update clock, etc. Um, start an audio cue, and so on. Um, but we really don't have the ability to do everything that we want to do, even if we select custom action, because custom action allows you to do some more advanced stuff. So I'm actually going to delete that here. And let's go back, 
scroll all the way to the bottom where I have this. And you probably won't have as many of these as I do, but I've got Pro 6. I've got another ProPresenter instance on another computer, my 13-inch MacBook Pro that my 14-year-old daughter has taken as her own, and uh, also my ATEM Television Studio HD. So let's select Specific Slide. So the first thing you need to know is this presentation path. Now, what's important about that is that here in ProPresenter, so if we go back to that, we could have any number of playlists and any number of presentations in playlists, and we could even have subfolders, all kinds of stuff. So the first thing you need to know is these are numbered starting with zero. So when I click on this one, that is playlist zero. This is playlist one. Even though it's the second one, it's playlist one. Same thing down here for the items in the playlist, the presentations. We've got uh, presentation zero, presentation one, presentation two. So starts with zero, goes to one. So let's do this and I'm gonna, um, add a new item in my uh, new presentation here and let's call this um, looks control okay and the theme doesn't really matter the size it's always valuable to choose your biggest uh, size for that in the library. I'm gonna, just going to put that in the default library. So now we go to new and just to make this simple I'm going to uh, put that in my playlist and where did it? Oh yeah, it came in way down here at the bottom. So make it e a little bit easier. I'm going to put it up here at the top. It doesn't have to be at the top. I just don't want to count that many. That's <laughs> the truth of it. So first thing I'm going to do is click on it. And I'm going to go over here and go and change it to the announcements layer. The reason that I'm doing that is because the announcements layer is independent and with the Mac version at least. I think with the Windows version it will change the UI but with the Mac version um, it wouldn't. So I've got that slide there and let me add another to it. Command Shift N adds another. So right now I'm going to add, right click, add action, and you may see where I'm going with this. So I'm going to add uh, an audience look, let's call this normal, and I'm going to right click, uh, add action, audience look, and the default one. So the first one and the second look. Okay. So if I were to, in the course of service, just click on those two, then they would change between the two looks. So what I want to do instead is keeping in mind that this is playlist zero and this is um, presentation zero. I'm going to go back to companion and I'm going to go 0 colon 0 and slide number 1 no delay don't need a delay so actually I said that was look 2 initially let's call that look 1 I'll do the same thing here it's a regular button look 2 and I could call this these whatever I wanted to I'm just doing this for simplicity's sake. And now, 
So that's good. That's good. Uh, now I need to add the action here, scrolling all the way down till I see Pro Presenter 16, going to specific slide. Remember, uh, now we're going to do slide number two in playlist zero colon presentation zero. Okay, so now that's already updated here in my uh, in my stream deck that's right there. So I can I should be able to go to page eight, yes, and I should be able to change between those. So let's make sure that I did all that correctly. So if I did, we should see over here it should change between these two so I'm on one and now I'm on two and notice that when I click on those buttons it changes how this looks here but what's also really cool is let's say that I'm down here in amazing grace and I realize uh oh I have made a mistake I'm on the wrong look I can change it here and notice that it changes so if I had forgotten to add this then I've got a page over here that I can go to it at any time and just change those without affecting what I'm doing in ProPresenter itself so that is how you can use companion and a stream deck to change looks or basically anything that you could put as an action on the um, on a slide in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So just go to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Sign up right there. It's absolutely free. You get a login and you can take the Pro7 Quick Start course just whenever you want. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.